Now, forewarn weather with Exact Track 4D radar. Exclusive technology for the most up to the minute weather information in your neighborhood. All right, don't let that afternoon sunshine fill you. A live look at Detroit's riverfront. More rain moving in overnight. A flood watch will be in effect later this evening. Definitely something you need to keep an eye on. Ron is on duty tonight to get you through those next few hours. But right now, this exact moment, it's pretty yeah. darn nice. Yeah, it's right now pretty pleasant outside besides it being humid and hot. But we are not seeing the storms right now. We had some of those storms early this morning. You may have been awakened from that thunder, which was really loud right now. Things are clear across the area when it comes to the rainfall. We do have a few clouds out there, but it's the action that's to our west still over toward Wisconsin, Minnesota, Iowa that has our attention on what's going to arrive here for later on tonight. So I talked about the warm temperatures right now. They're ranging from the lower 80s as you get over toward the thumb to even the upper 80s right now with 88 on Detroit's east side and we're looking at 85 in Ann Arbor, 84 in Howell. Now those are some of the communities that will see those showers and thunderstorms moving in first later on tonight. The heat index sends what it feels like to around 90 degrees in many communities across southeast Michigan. Now, I know I sound like a broken record. We've been talking about the storms over the weekend. Some of you maybe saw a couple of storms and many people stayed dry, but we have a much better chance of those storms tonight. Now, this is the overnight look for our region. We are all under this risk of severe weather. The risk bumps up to a level two, the slight risk. We don't see this quite as much. You go out toward West Michigan, they're even at a level three in Hence, Now the greatest concern is that this is going to be coming when a lot of people are sleeping. The timing comes in after midnight and primarily from about one to six o'clock. These storms roll through the area. Now the concerns will be the strong winds. We have the potential for some hell, but also because of the rain we've already gotten and more heavy rain on the way, there's a potential for localized flooding in our area. Now we already have flood concerns from previously with the Huron River in Livingston County. This flood warning continues and it could be worsened by more rainfall. We have a flood watch for Livingston, Oakland, Macomb and Washington in Wayne counties that goes into effect at midnight and lasts until eight o'clock tomorrow morning. We could see that bumped up to a warning if necessary in those communities overnight. So tonight it is going to stay mild and this is one of the reasons why those storms will get the fuel that they need to remain strong in the overnight hours. We have the showers and storms coming through temperatures hovering right around the lower 70s tonight and then for tomorrow we have a chance of some of those storms lingering early into the morning and also in the afternoon 85 degrees for that high those winds out of the west southwest about 5 to 15 miles per hour. Now something that we're going to be seeing some relief on the way Wednesday. We will see a chance of a couple of showers popping up. We have a cold front that is going to be coming through tomorrow, but that brings us relief as we get into our Wednesday drier and cooler air and then look at that some 70s popping up in our forecast as we wrap out into the next several days after that some relief is on the way and we need it. Oh, that's true. All right. Yeah. Thank you, Ron. Appreciate it.